Natural disasters strike globally, yet the Philippines stands out for experiencing the highest frequency and severity of such events. The country has to deal with earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, typhoons, monsoons, floods, sea level rise, and much more. According to the World Risk Index 2023, the Philippines ranks as the most vulnerable country due to its significant exposure to a wide array of natural hazards. This vulnerability raises the question, what factors contribute to making the Philippines so prone to natural disasters? The Philippines is an archipelago comprising over 7,000 islands in Southeast Asia, situated within the volatile Pacific Ring of Fire. This geographical location exposes it to frequent seismic activity and volcanic eruptions. The archipelago's mountainous terrain, such as the Cordillera Central and Sierra Madre Ranges, acts as natural barriers but also increases susceptibility to landslides and flooding, particularly during typhoons originating from the Pacific. Coastal features, including an extensive coastline of over 22,000 miles, expose the Philippines to storm surges, sea level rise, and coastal erosion. Manila Bay, a strategic hub, exemplifies the vulnerability of urban centers to such natural hazards. Moreover, the Philippines' network of rivers and lakes, including major systems like the Cagayan River and Laguna de Bay, plays an important role in its hydrology, influencing the country's water cycle and overall water resources management. However, these waterways can overflow during heavy monsoon rains, causing widespread flooding in low-lying areas and urban centers. The Philippines' climate, predominantly tropical with distinct wet and dry seasons, is influenced by monsoon winds, brings heavy rainfall between June and October. This seasonal pattern contributes significantly to the occurrence of floods and landslides, particularly in regions with steep topography. The country experiences an average of 20 typhoons annually, causing widespread devastation to infrastructure and agriculture, particularly in coastal and low-lying areas. In addition to geological and meteorological hazards, the Philippines faces environmental challenges such as deforestation and soil erosion, which exacerbate the impacts of natural disasters. Deforestation reduces natural buffers against landslides and flooding, while soil erosion worsens the sedimentation of rivers and coastal areas. Volcanic activity poses a significant threat in the Philippines. The country is home to several active volcanoes, each capable of erupting with devastating consequences. Mayan Volcano, known for its perfectly symmetrical cone, and Tall Volcano, one of the world's smallest volcanoes, are among the most notable. These volcanoes have erupted numerous times throughout history, impacting local communities and ecosystems. One of the most memorable volcanic events in recent Philippine history occurred in 1991 with the eruption of Mount Pinatubo. This eruption was exceptionally powerful, ranking as one of the largest in the 20th century globally. It released massive amounts of ash and gases into the atmosphere, significantly affecting global climate patterns. The eruption also triggered lahars, mud flows of volcanic debris mixed with water, that buried entire towns and displaced thousands of residents from their homes in the surrounding areas. Recently, there have been various volcanic eruptions across the Philippines, including notable events involving Mount Mayan, Tall Volcano, and Mount Canlayan on Negros Island. These eruptions highlight the ongoing volcanic activity in the archipelago and its impact on local communities. If you have any comments or questions about these volcanic activities or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. Your thoughts are always welcome. Have you heard of, the big one, the seismic event that could reshape the Philippines? This looming threat on the West Valley Fault poses significant questions about the nation's readiness to withstand and recover from a potentially devastating earthquake. The Big One has long been a significant concern for everyone in the Philippines, and it's named so for a reason, it's expected to be massive. The country has a history of devastating earthquakes, like the 1976 Moro Gulf earthquake and the 1990 Luzon earthquake, which caused thousands of casualties. A recent study highlighted that earthquakes have claimed over 6,000 lives from 1599 to 2020 alone. The Philippines, located near active faults, is accustomed to natural disasters. According to Fivox, the West Valley Fault last moved significantly in 1658, nearly four centuries ago, suggesting it may be due for another major shift. 
While a 7.2 magnitude quake might not sound exceptionally powerful, given the Philippines' history and projections suggesting the potential for even larger earthquakes, a major movement along the West Valley Fault could lead to an unprecedented catastrophe in a country that still faces challenges in preparing for such disasters. Predicted to hit with a magnitude of 7.2 on the West Valley Fault, the big one could potentially cause at least 34,000 fatalities. Over the past 1,400 years, there have been four major earthquakes along this fault. However, there's no reliable technology globally that can predict the exact time, date, and location of such large earthquakes. Scientists can only estimate based on recurrence intervals, which are the average times between such events. Overall, the Philippines' archipelagic nature and geographic location within the Pacific Ring of Fire present a complex matrix of natural disaster risks. These include earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, typhoons, floods, landslides, storm surges, and sea level rise. The interaction of these hazards with the country's diverse topography and climatic conditions underscores the ongoing challenges faced by Filipinos in mitigating and adapting to natural disasters. This comprehensive vulnerability underscores the importance of disaster preparedness, resilient infrastructure, and sustainable environmental management in safeguarding lives and livelihoods across the Philippine archipelago. The Philippine government has implemented a range of activities and projects to enhance disaster preparedness and mitigate the impact of natural disasters. The Philippine government has strengthened its disaster preparedness with laws like the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management DRM, Law of 2010. This law set up the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, NDRRMC, which helps coordinate efforts at all levels of government and with different groups. They focus on preventing disasters, getting ready for them, responding when they happen, and helping communities recover. The country has improved its early warning systems to quickly alert people about typhoons, earthquakes, and other dangers. These systems use technology and local networks to send out warnings fast, so communities can evacuate and protect themselves early. The government also builds strong buildings like evacuation centers, flood defenses, and key facilities that can handle disasters and help responders do their jobs better. Local communities play a big role in preparing for disasters. They have workshops, practice drills, and campaigns to teach people how to respond well during emergencies. Local leaders work with community groups to make plans that fit their area's risks, making sure everyone knows what to do to stay safe. With climate change making risks worse, the Philippines is adapting by using smarter ways to develop and protect nature. They build resilient infrastructure that can handle climate-related disasters better. They also work closely with other countries and organizations to share resources, learn from each other, and improve how they respond to disasters together. To know where risks are highest, experts study map areas that are vulnerable. This helps them plan better and decide where to focus their efforts to reduce risks. The government also runs campaigns to teach people about disaster readiness, like what to do in emergencies and how to stay safe. Laws support these efforts by setting rules that help manage risks and protect communities all across the country. Preparing for disasters is a shared responsibility that involves all of us, government, communities, and individuals alike. By staying informed, staying prepared, and working together, we can build a more resilient Philippines. Let's continue to learn, adapt, and support each other in facing the challenges ahead. Together, we can make a difference and ensure a safer, more secure future for everyone. Thank you for watching, and remember, preparedness saves lives.